In this video, we'll demonstrate how to use Microsoft templates to create a new Blazor application, reference the DevExpress NuGet feed, register DevExpress resources, and add a DevExpress Blazor component. First, make sure that your system meets the following requirements. Our latest version now supports the latest version of Visual Studio 2022 with the ASP.NET and web development workload. It also supports .NET 6.0, which you can download from Microsoft's website. To create a Blazor project, you can use Microsoft Project Templates, Blazor WebAssembly app, or Blazor Server app. In this tutorial, I'll create a server project. I specify the project name and click Next. Then you can specify additional options if needed and click Create. DevExpress Blazor components are distributed as NuGet packages. Go to the nuget.devexpress.com, log in as a registered DevExpress customer, and click Obtain Feed URL to retrieve your personal link to our NuGet feed. In Visual Studio, go to Tools, NuGet Package Manager, Package Manager Settings. Navigate to NuGet Package Manager, Package Sources. Click the plus sign in the top right corner to add a new NuGet Package Source. Paste your personal link to our NuGet feed into the Source field and specify the NuGet feed name. Now, select Tools, NuGet Package Manager, Manage NuGet Packages for Solution to manage NuGet Packages for your solution. Select the newly created DevExpress NuGet Package source and install the DevExpress.Blazor NuGet Package. Make sure that the checkbox Include Pre-Releases is unchecked. Tick the checkbox in front of your application name and click Install to install the latest release package version. Now you need to register DevExpress resources. Note that the way to register resources is common for both server and WebAssembly applications. First, register the devexpress.blazor namespace in the imports.razor file. Then open the program.cs file, at using devexpress.blazor, then call the add devexpress blazor method and specify the bootstrap version global option. The option's default value is version 4. Since the created project uses the Bootstrap 5 style sheet, you should set the Bootstrap version property to version 5. Then call the use static web assets method on the host builder to enable the application to load client side resources. Next, we need to apply a theme. Open the project's layout file. For Blazor server, it's the layout.cshtml file. If you create the Blazor WebAssembly project, open the www root backslash index.html file. The layout file already contains a link to the standard Bootstrap theme. You should also add a link to the Bootstrap external style sheet version 5. This style sheet applies CSS variables from Bootstrap CSS files to DevExpress Blazor components. As an alternative, you can apply one of the DevExpress themes, for example, the DevExpress Blazing Berry theme. You can comment out the Bootstrap and Bootstrap external style sheet links and add the following link. Now the project is configured to use DevExpress Blazor components. Open the index page and add the DX date edit component. And that's it for this video. If you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. If you have any questions, please comment below. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so you get notified anytime we release new content. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.